Okay, continuing on with our series of videos on what guitarists sound like up close and personal without their bands. Sometimes just picking up their guitars during an interview or playing backstage, practicing, or doing a demonstration video, something of this nature. And today we're going to do Vinnie Vincent. Vinnie Vincent, of course, is most well known for being lead guitarist in KISS from 1982 to 1984. He was also the centerpiece of his own band called the Vinnie Vincent Invasion, put out a couple of albums in the mid 80s, and he is well known for being a speed player, a shredder, and sort of an over-the-top character in every way. And what we're going to do here is we're going to listen to him play from an instructional video, but I'm going to break my rules a little bit, and one of the clips I'm going to use has a slight backing track. So there's no band here, but there's like a metronome. Let's take a listen to Vinnie Vincent playing. All right, so shred is the only word you can use to explain that, but I would point out that there is a slight blues influence to what he's doing. Not only is he shaking the strings mightily, but when the guitar makes an incidental noise, when there's the sound of the fretboard or a scraping sound, he tries to incorporate that into what he's doing, which is a blues technique. Whatever your guitar happens to do, whatever sound happens to come out of that guitar, you need to use that in what you're doing. So Vinnie Vincent's approach is backed up by an impeccable technique and in addition to his ability to shred like this he was also a pretty accomplished songwriter at least for what was popular in the mid 80s so far as sort of pop metal went he didn't express a great interest in songwriting nevertheless he seemed to have a flair for it now on top of his abilities on the guitar Vinnie Vincent was also a visionary in the sense that when he was going to make his own albums with Vinnie Vincent Invasion, he had no problem putting the guitar straight up front. It was almost as though he were making Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, these types of instrumental players his inspiration. Nevertheless, he had a singer, he had a full band, and he just proceeded to kind of trample over the top of them. Now, sadly, another aspect of Vinnie Vincent's career is the apparent deterioration of his playing skills. He has not really made too many public appearances, and when he does, he doesn't play anything like he used to. I want to give you an example of what he kind of sounds like now, and this will be from the opening guitar solo of a recent performance in 2022. Although I usually don't include performances, I'm going to do it this time because I can't find that much material on Vinnie Vincent from recent times. So here we go. So he's basically just jerking around on the whammy bar there and making noise. There's absolutely no musicality to what he's doing whatsoever. And if this is the best he's capable of at this point, then he has suffered one of the most catastrophic losses in playing ability that I've ever seen in a professional guitar player. On the other hand, in his prime, although he had a ton of speed, a ton of technique, and he was a decent songwriter, there there was a limit to what Vinnie Vincent was capable of. Now I've heard a lot of players, a lot of distinguished players say that 
when he was away from Kiss and away from his shredding that he was able to play just about any style from classical to folk and everything in between and I believe that this is true but when I say a limit I go back to what I was talking about with his own band I don't think Vinnie Vincent could have ever been content being a sideman. I think he always had to be the censor of whatever he was doing and in this respect his playing is not sophisticated enough although it's technically accomplished enough to hold that kind of attention and very few guitarists are capable of that no matter how good they are i mean even eddie van halen needed a band so this is what i think but what really matters is what you think if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe also check out the join button that's available now if you choose to become a channel member you'll gain access to members only badges members only polls, members only videos, and other cool perks you'll see when you click on the button. You can also help out the channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link, going to the buy me a coffee site, and leaving a donation every little bit. Helps this channel stay strong. Thanks a lot.